In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you two simple ways to color grade your music videos. This is my best and efficient way of doing it. So without further ado, let's dive into this. So of course, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the clip you want to color grade is selected. Now, of course, if you're doing a music video, there's gonna be loads of clips in that one project and you can just select which one you wanna grade. But for today, we're just gonna be going over this one clip right here. Very smooth, very clean, simple but we're gonna be adding a grade onto this to bring out the colors and just make it look more interesting. So I usually go to the top right here, Lumetri color, and I start off with the temperature. Now, the reason why I start with the temperature is because I like to see what type of theme I'm gonna go for. Now, with this shot here, it's looking like a cloudy day. So I wanna lean towards more of that cool temperature look. So it's like kind of cold. I wouldn't really want to go towards the warm look. So let's just say we'll put that at minus 20. So there you can see I've just added a small touch there, but I can already see where I'm going to be going with this grade. So the next thing I like to adjust would be the contrast. So the more you put it to the left, that's less colors, less contrast. The more you bring it to the right, now you can kind of see more of that contrast. So I'd say, yeah, something like, let's just say 90 for this one. You know, this is quite rough but it's, it's from scratch. Um, I usually leave the highlights until later, until after, and then I like to adjust my shadows. Now, with this shot, I don't want it too bright, but I don't want it too dark at the same time. So I'm just gonna bring the shadows down a touch. And you can just keep adjusting this until you, know, you see where you're heading with it. You can tell without the grade, with the grade without with you can tell it just looks a lot more cleaner now it's looking more exciting and then you can actually adjust this even more so with this what i would do next is because it's again it's a cloudy day i want to make it quite interesting i want to add an adjustment layer here and you want to put your adjustment layer across your clip. You want to go to the effects tab and you want to type in glow. Now, if you don't actually have universe, then you should get it because you actually get these good plugins here with this glow. However, you can create your own glow and I will show that in another video, but with this glow, it's just perfect, man. So as you can see, it's already done something to our footage, but this is too bright. This is too much, you know, we, we don't need this much, okay? So we're gonna go to the intensity here and we're gonna bring this down to like, what? 3 point, uh, 0 0.3, something like that. Maybe, maybe even 0 0.2, do you know what I'm saying? So it gives it that kind of look there. So now you can kind of see it's got a glow on the grade and it's got the colors that we brought into it. So that's color graded from scratch. Um, that's how I would have graded this footage if I did do it from scratch. But I actually use LUTs. Now, a lot of you may know what LUTs are, but I use my own LUTs, ones that I've created. So a grade that you just saw, I would then save that and put it on top of footage with less contrast that I can actually grade on top of. So let's just delete this glow and restart all of this so we can start fresh, okay? Start fresh. And I think that's it, we didn't touch anything else. So what I usually do is I click on source here, especially if I'm doing a music video, I wanna make sure I apply this to the same clip throughout that video. I click on browse and I head into my LUTs folder. And here, as you can see, we've got Xavier Cloudy. We're gonna click open. And as you can see, this is the sort of grade we're going with this one. So it looks similar. But I'm just showing you guys that, look how quick I'm able to just add my LUT on and now I can adjust my LUT if I want to. So I can add a little bit more contrast. Let's just say something like 35, let's just say 20. I like to adjust it a little bit. Want to, we can bring up this, this saturation here. Let's just say to 130. And can go to the basic saturation, bring that up as well. Bring our reds in. That's again, another simple grade on top of a LUT that I've made myself. So that's just another example. Again, we would add our adjustment layer on top of this. 
we would then add that glow again for that effect. As you can see, it's too bright. So we're gonna bring that down to 0.2 again. And there you go, that's a complete different grade. But to be honest with you guys, I'm liking this one a little bit more. It just looks more interesting. We've got some more colors going on there. The glow is making it look nice. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just a little bit more different than your usual grade. So guys, that is how I color grade my music videos. It's very simple. We have um, starting from scratch and then you've got the one with the LUT. Now the LUT is literally a template that I've made myself. So if you guys would be interested in seeing some of these LUTs and actually experience using some of these LUTs that I've made myself, put it down in the comment section below and I'll have a think about it and maybe one day I'll release my own LUTs. But yeah, man, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I appreciate all the support. Hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be dropping loads of videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Walk out casually, neighbors don't suspect nothing. But I'll be jumping out of windows if the feds come in. Oh, yeah. Top set mathematician, always love my numbers. Then I started acting different, started burning ganja. Then I had a trapping vision, went and found some punters. Oh, and these times I was bagging in my mumsies.